exactly half an hour before the final show of the Shakespeare in Poland festival here at the Shakespeare's Globe. I was walking with my wife Alicia four years ago along the South Bank and we looked at the Globe and we nodded our heads and said it would be amazing to perform at the Globe once in a lifetime. And here, four years later, we're performing and the conference Poland and Shakespeare and the translation of Wyspiański, uh, I think it's a great privilege. The festival kicked off uh, with uh, two discussions. The first one called Poland is Hamlet. The second panel was devoted to Polonius, a very important character in Hamlet. To be Polish, one has to know Shakespeare. Somehow his text has been incorporated into our, our cultural identity, I would say. For the Polish people, Hamlet is crucial figure and very important drama because it reflects all the history, politics uh, of Poland. There are many uh, political uh, moments uh, and uh, many political motives in, uh, in the tragedy of Hamlet. Polish culture resonates very well with this. When, uh, when confronted with, with history and with, and with different forms... We've had a very good and important Hamlet production every time our country was uh, going through a crisis or through a political turmoil and we really have uh, produced very good Hamlets over time. One of the main things that the play is relevant for, for us now is, um, is, is, is in terms of its dark political vision, its vision of, of, of uh, uncertainty, of um, countries breaking up, of countries kind of uh, being in conflict with each other and not knowing what the outcome will be. And good swims into evil's foul embrace, like fatal stars in the heavens, boding. We have been uh, reading and performing Jan Kochanowski's Dismissal of Gresham Envoys in five countries. All these recordings from, from various places were transmitted directly to Poland, to Plac de Fila, to Warsaw, where people could simply listen to it and celebrate the fact that Jan Kochanowski is being read and acknowledged all around the world. Before the performances, we had the opportunity to listen to a lecture by Charles Kraszewski explaining the historical, the cultural, the political context of uh, times when Jan Kochanowski has been creating his works. Uh, I'm very fond of Jan Kochanowski. Uh, he is Poland's Shakespeare. As a matter of fact, uh, he had the rank of Shakespeare in Poland as a national poet for, for many, many years until in the 19th century, Adam Mickiewicz came along and for various reasons knocked him off his post. Polish literature, especially since the 19th century, has been uh, burdened with the impulse to write engaged literature to keep the national identity together. Kochanowski is writing before that time, as such, he's free to speak of problems which are particularly Polish, but to speak in such a way that is deeply human. Shakespeare, who also deals with so many problems that are typically English. And yet, those plays, whether they're performed in Polish or in German or in, in, in Spanish, they have a very similar um, reaction amongst the audience because they speak to each one of us. One of the most vital parts of the festival was uh, publishing of the English translation of Hamlet the Study by Stanisław Wyspiański. This festival celebrates uh, Shakespearean connections with Poland and also Wyspiański, who is a great reader of Shakespeare's works. There is a huge tradition of Hamlet in Poland. The most important, of course, is Wyspiański's tradition and his studium of Hamlet, uh, which uh, placed Hamlet not in Elsinore but in Wawel Castle. Two years ago I was in Warsaw as a guest of the National Drama School there and I met with uh, Professor Dariusz Kozinski and he asked me what I thought about the great work by Fispiansky on Hamlet. I, I hadn't heard of this great work by Fispiansky uh, and he said, well, of course you haven't heard of it. It hasn't been translated into English. We commissioned the translation and then I thought it would be a good idea to explore, put that book into context in terms of Shakespeare and Poland. 
I'm Tony Howard, I'm Professor of English at Warwick University, and with my wife, Barbara Bogocek, who's Polish, um, we've been working on a translation into English of Wisbianski's Hamlet study, and also his um, very short play, The Death of Ophelia. And by amazing chances, we're going to be able to present the English premiere of The Death of Ophelia. This is the last half an hour of Ophelia's life which we obviously don't get to see in Hamlet because uh, she always exists in a relationship to men. Wyspiański doesn't portray her that way. I think in a lot of ways he still takes from Shakespeare, but it's not completely defining her. Composing music for a rather old piece of theatre, 150 years old script was to make sure that it related to a lot of us in contemporary times. The music can be a different character, like Hamlet, it can be the king, and most importantly, the music can also chart her strain of thought and wherever she goes and as she approaches her eventual death. We have been able to uh, take part in a discussion about how Hamlet the study was created, how it influenced the Polish understanding of Hamlet and about Wyspiański himself. It's the most intense and powerful uh, example of someone immersing themselves in a literary work that we know of. It's a dozen approaches to Shakespeare within a single book and it's deeply inspiring. A few years ago uh, a few of us had the idea that we should celebrate uh, Poland's a love, a, a, a adoption of Shakespeare, but not only on, in text, but also in performance. And it started with a visit to the ambassador. It was my dream to be here with you all, especially with Patrick, uh, at my wife's and my favorite theater, Shakespeare's Globe, and the event dedicated to one of my most valued writers, Stanisław Wyspiański. It is a very important task in Poland that we can promote our literature abroad by supporting such events like this. It's been an amazing time. It's been a time that really has surpassed all our expectations. We have had an amazing collaboration with the Shakespeare's Globe, with the Adam Mickiewicz Institute, with the Polish Embassy, with the Book Institute. And us, as Polish Cultural Institute, we were simply delighted to be able to collaborate with all those wonderful partners and have simply had an amazing time working with them on establishing this festival. <laughs>